Kweto Singham Sawawa's embarrassing video, performing to a confused audience in Botswana goes viral. Old school Kweto Singham Sawawa performed to a confused audience in Botswana. It's hard to believe that Sibiniso Dlamini, also known as Msawawa, was once a major Kweto hitmaker. Msawawa made a name for himself when he was eight years old and became a child star. The young man made history when he released his first single called Wawundi Kanani, sampling a song called My Love Is Free by an American band called Double Exposure. The song is from 1976. Msawawa broke records with this song, giving the high rollers of the industry at the time, like Mendoza and Zambia, a run for their money. A few years after that, he fell off. And it was reported that he was broke, Glamini also left Johannesburg and returned home after getting on the wrong side of the law. The video that is circulating of him performing to a non-responsive crowd comes as the artist is in the process of reviving his music career. Msawawa took a gig in Botswana and performed vigorously, but the audience didn't recognize his music or him. Glamini is now in his 30s, he has been out of the music industry for over 15 years. The people who once enjoyed his music are now fathers and mothers who don't attend these concerts anymore. Also, most of his fans are in South Africa, and the song he is performing has never been heard before. These are the feelings expressed in entertainment blogger Musa Kawula's post about Msawawa's performance. Msawawa kept calling for people to sing along to this song and it was crickets. The comment section went wild and started comparing this situation to Andal Mbazain's when he performed to confused audiences in Pretoria recently. It's not difficult to understand why some feel like he should have just performed his old songs like Bibo to get some kind of response. Glamini has recently gone back to make new music with his old record label, Bulldogs Entertainment, Wim Zambia is also taking residence. The two used to be compared to each other in the 90s because of the similarities in their music and the fact that they were both child star Kweto musicians at the time. It deserves to be mentioned that there were some in the comment section who thought the song sounded good. Leave your comments in the comment video below, don't forget to share with your family and friends.